what's going on here? They're stopping people. Oh my goodness, there's lots of tanks here. Oh, look here, wow. No, really, wow. They're probably letting them cross or something. Good morning. We are on our way to Ela. We're going to spend the day or the afternoon because it's going to take three hours to get there. We're going to spend the afternoon with Grandma and Grandpa at the beach. Yay! Ah. And as you can see, Raphael got up very early. Yes. Because Daddy woke me the car. up. Yeah, Daddy woke him up. And so. I did not like that. No, they do not like being woke up. I don't like waking them up. They usually stay in a bad mood, but today's going to be a happy day, and they have three hours to sleep in the car. Yeah? Nah, I'll sleep as many hours as I want. Okay. And I'll tell Daddy Foul. if he's got the next to Foul. All right. It's going to be a long day. Got my hair up. Feel my smile. That's how long my regrowth is. It's growing pretty quickly. Nice smile. It's very hot already. It's 26 Celsius. It's pretty hot already. And down in a lot is like a different type of hot. It's like Death Valley. So it's really hot. Whoa. So water's gonna feel good. Have we got the neck pillow? All right, so we're on the way and just wanna show you the smoggy, smog yucky. It's also about to rain here. And for future reference, the gunmetal gray plank cruiser you just saw. Oh yeah? So you can decide if you like the color. Oh, you like that? Yeah, I love gunmetal gray. We have 240 yeah. kilometers to go. Yeah, it's quite a, a long distance. Three hours. And when we lived in a lot, it took us forever to go anywhere. Yeah, we're we, used to it. We put a lot this of miles on this car. <laughs> a lot of kilometers. For people who don't use their car for everyday use, yeah. Yeah. Certainly. So it's probably going to get better down south, hopefully, because it's very overcast and rainy. But you can't choose your weather, can you? Ever. Yeah. It's always changing. I here. predicted it for other people that we have about three or four people from work that are there. They were vacating in the Oh, park. really? So they were like, yeah, we're going to do, we're going to go pontoon boating. And I was like, yeah, wow. in the sand. <laughs> <laughs> the desert sandstorms. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, however, we're not going to go through, if you guys are watching oh, this no. channel for three and a half, four years, we're not going through the regular way we used to go. So you're not going to see the progress of the airport. We're not? No, we're going Oh, we're going that ways. way? That's bad. The back way? It's dangerous, isn't it? No. It's really where I used curvy. To go every day. Um, dangerous for what? Can you tell me? Military groups. Is it going to be sandstormy there? Because that's really bad for me. I don't know. I forgot it's all about not that. Like this. Well, you're doing much better now. Yeah, at least I'm medicated now. They did bring my medicine with me. I forgot it and Hadar had to go in and get it. But I do have my medicine. Hopefully if it is sandstorming, I'll just get over it and cough for a few days. <laughs> cough up some sand. But yeah, when the sandstorm's here, it's really, really bad in there. You can tell that there's sand in the air right now, which would be a good thing for it to rain before we get back so it can get rid of all that sand in the air. Right onto our stuff. Yeah, exactly. So Abigail put a neck pillow on. You like the neck pillow? You gonna go to sleep now? She realized oh, you didn't boy. put it on? She, she, she put it on, yeah. You wanna put the pillow on? It's Raphael's pillow. Uh, Abigail has one as well, but it's at home. Yeah, brother forgot it. Yeah. <laughs> Abigail, her hair is a complete mess because it's got static in it. I don't know why, but we just went from a very tall mountain down to the base of it. Mitzpe Ramon. Wow. So. We have an hour and a half left, and it feels like we've been in here for about six hours now. Because it's very boring. You see what you're seeing now? That's what you'll see for the rest of the way. <laughs> Nothing. That's the desert. 
some more nothing. We got different colored rocks here. That's interesting. It's not a desert everyone thinks it is, though. It's not Saudi Arabia. Nice sand, sandy desert. Yeah, it's rocky here. Very rocky. And hard. It's hard as a rock. Even the, the sand, you can't dig through it. Thank you. Oh, no. Oh, no, brother. Brother. You gave it to her, you can't be a derogatory term. Yeah, but she gave it to me now. <laughs> She's just playing. You can't have a half givesy backsy or whatever. I'm so tired. Dri traveling, even if I'm not driving, it just makes me so tired. That's probably why I hate it so much. Because when I get to the place, like, I'm already tired. Like, I need a nap just from traveling. But I can't sleep sitting up. I can. But that's when I'm like really pass outable. But I have a hard time sleeping while I'm traveling. I did when I was a kid. Like we would go shopping every Saturday, grocery shopping with my family. I would sleep on the way back, like kind of awake, kind of asleep. But that's probably the last time that I was able to do it comfortably. I don't, I don't like traveling. I just like getting there. This is actually pretty. I like openings when you go up a hill. It looks like some buttes here. I, th I think I saw the volcano. Oh, yeah. It does look like it. Look here. Yeah, it could be. Like granite. Yeah. They do have some rock hunting here. Actually, I think it's right around here. You go rock hunting, um, they give you a bucket or something. I don't know. For pretty colors. Yeah. All right, you see this? We're in apocalypse now. Now what? Now what? So we're gonna take a picture with the kids in front of this apocalypse vehicle. It's been stripped. I don't know if the army stripped it or some people stripped it, <laughs> but it's been completely stripped and just sat out here, I don't know. They have a tank up the road. Um, this is like all military stuff out here. They train out here. Nobody lives here. It's in the middle of the desert. Raphael uh, Company is here. Somewhere, there's a base over there. belongs to that truck. You think? Yeah. Let's go and look. This looks soft. It is not as hard as a rock. It's so crazy. Yeah, it, yeah. It did flood here a couple of weeks ago and some people actually, some kids, some kids got stuck in it, teenagers, in a training course for the army. Um, they were part of the army. Yeah. This is, it stabbed me in my toe. I'm probably bleeding. But anyway, they got washed away and died. Um, flash flood, so that was really bad. Target? Are they target practicing? Look, it's shot up. Well, okay. Well, we'll see what the <laughs> see what the desert does. <laughs> it looks like our house. <laughs> Get your picture taken. Yeah, it looks like maybe it was drug here, just drug here and left. They even stripped the cap off of it. Well, if you've never seen inside of it, there you go. It's an M462. Oh, Abigail, are you okay? Oh, 
Look at this handle. It's one of them cheap handles. From cheap cheap I mean, door. Cheap. Look, it's not even a door. It's it's a cheap door handle that you get in a really cheap house that we have always lived in. <laughs> Hey, mm. get on there, Fred. Taking a picture. <laughs> look at Daddy. Oh, uh, no horn. Whoa. Did I admit it, Andrea? Whoa. Have a good look. <laughs> she like, move, brother. <laughs> What's she saying? Weights. She said it was. She said it was hot. It must be hot up there. No. Yeah, it's super dusty. The horn is lost. Yeah, the horn is lost. I was gonna blow the horn. They're smarter than me. Oh yeah. No, you can jump. Come here, Abby. Ooh, Abigail. Oh, I don't know. That's like seven foot tall. <laughs> I'm scared about this. <laughs> There's flies out here, Daddy. We can't get away from them. Oh no, don't put them in there. <laughs> That's definitely the apocalypse in there. I might find dead things. His face is all red. Okay. Abigail! We don't pollute. Alright, let's go. Okay, let's go. Now that we've seen the apocalypse, we're going to look in Israel. What about the flies? Day! 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 I want to look at some flies in there. Oh look, somebody walked through here when it was muddy. <laughs> That's what I'm yeah. Yeah, a tank. So Daddy says that there's bombs over there where the orange flags are. <laughs> I don't try it. I might do that. Yeah, exactly. What's going on here? They're stopping people. Oh my goodness, there's lots of tanks here. Oh look here. Wow. No, really, wow. They're probably letting them cross or something. What the heck are they doing? As I just said. Why are, are they just looking or something? Uh huh. They're letting him cross. Ooh. Oh, look, look. They're bringing all the dust with them. Ooh. Cool. The storm. Cool. Ooh. It's my favorite Jeep. Fun on Friday. Fun on Friday. Poor soldiers are supposed to be off. That's the youngest one. You're gonna stand out there and guard. The youngest one has to stand and guard? Probably. That sucks. That's what I would do. If I was their commander. Hmm. I didn't even see the tanks. Hadar kept saying tanks, tanks, and I was like, tanks for what? <laughs> tanks a lot. I honest, honestly, I was like, what? Tanks for what? What? Yeah. And he kept saying tanks, tanks, and I'm like, what? She asked, why am I slowing down? I said, tanks. There was everybody in the road, so I was like, what's going on? I was looking at the cars. I didn't even see the tanks. Mommy? I'm not a military spotter here. What? Orange, red, orange tells us that. Tanks. Raphael's gonna be a cartographer because he loves maps. And Abigail loves to pick, so she's just been picking her fingers, picking her toes. She loves it. She already messed up her hair. She's picking her hair, pulling her hair out. It's awesome. You doing good? No. Yeah. Oh, she cried when she got back in the car because it's a long journey. She doesn't want to be in the car anymore. Don't blame her. How many kids do you know that can endure that with no entertainment? Yeah. Three hour drive. Raphael has a map for entertainment. <laughs> yep. We give our here. kids GPS for entertainment. <laughs> oh yeah, we went here. We blocked really? it. Oh my, these people. Idiots. That's what idiots are. Yeah. You see where oh, she's still just sitting there looking at Literally. him talking. Literally. They just well. Stopped and there's more cars back there now. Look. Wow. Well. That's it's, why people die. It's an no pass zone on a junction too. I mean, yeah. are you stupid? Yeah, stupid definitely. Middle. She's not a sucker. The road is hers, duh. Yep, more of this. More of these. We gotta wait until our car reaches one of the twelves. One of the twelves? Is that the name of the road? 
Yes. 12 is the road, yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. The other road is named 14. Oh, yes. very good. And this road is named 12. And how many minutes does it say it's going to take us? 50 to get to 12. Okay, that's right. Um, very good. It's 44 to... It says, it does say 50. Oh, I, I wrote the destination as being a lot, it so it's take probably taking us to the middle. Po point <laughs> yeah. Where the border is. Yeah. I think they bolstered it up in case we have a shooting. Yeah, this is Egypt. That's Egypt over there. Yeah. That didn't used to be there. It must be their military lookout tower now. And look at all this barbed wire in the ditch. And Egypt is right there with the fences. That's Egypt. Yeah, definitely bolstered it. Jordan's over it. there. Yeah. This is literally Egypt right here. Yeah. So we have a vlog called BFE, right? Um, I, yeah, probably. Something BFE. Yeah, I think it's like BFE. We're, literally we in BFE. Here, and yeah, that's what she says. <laughs> literally in BFE. Yeah, it's really tall. And it's full of barbed wire, buddy. Yeah. It is full of barbed wire. This is as a response to mm. what happened. There was a shooting years ago. On a bus. Yeah, they shot our bus. Yeah. Very uh, bad. Terrorists, not Egyptians. Yeah, terrorists in Egypt. Oh, yeah. look over there. They made another one. So these are, here we have a lot of posts for our military. Oh, they did make another one. Yeah, those did not exist, trust me. Yeah. They used to be here every day. Yeah, they did. They were just little stations posts with like a pant and a bathroom. Yeah. And now they look like they're strongholds. Yeah, Israel also built one yeah, after that happened. Yeah, we have a little two sandbags. They, and, um, they get the drones up here so they can see everything at night yeah. with the light. It got drones that light up like balloons. You can see that they have like a fence here, like a double fence here. This is the old little. Fence. This is still in Israel. Everything you see. In and the then fence, back here that's still us. is crazy fenced. Yeah, look at this right here. Right here, wow. That's where you hide from fire. Shots fire. Right? Hide from fire? Wow. Fire. That's what it's for. That's pretty bad. And it'll even, most of them will hold up to a tank. So, well. We're getting serious over here. It's been ever since that, four years ago. Okay, here's the. Here you see there's another post up there. The post. Way they're, up there. they're really bolstering their military presence here. They didn't it's used to have us. any of this. This is not against us, because Egypt and Israel were in peace, even though Egyptians really hate Israel. Uh, but we're still in peace. Since yeah, they used to tear up our gas pipeline, and it charged us a whole bunch of more money. Our yeah. gas prices went up. They you used to the kept blowing it here. up. This and is actually a very interesting concrete. place. At the, very, at the bottom of the Syrian-African tectonic plate, where it created different lands and kind of fused them together. So you'll see mountains that are millions years old and then newer ones that were made because of this. So there's a lot of colors for yeah. different mountains. And they can see on the floor even. It's like red and then it's orange, yellow, dark brown, like granite. Black. Black. And this is not man-made at all. Yeah. It was not brought here, it's just natural. So a lot of tourists, they like to hike up to the top of the mountains, which is really good. You can overlook a lot in the Jordan Mountains, which you can probably see that back there. Mm -hmm. Over there. Over there, Andrea. Jordan. Yeah, Jordan, Jordan is Jordan over there. Right there. If you can see the mountains and the, the clouds right mountains. there, the Misty Mountains, that's Jordan. So you can actually see three countries at once here. Yeah. And they all look alike, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> no. Do you see three countries at once? You know, one day you're going to appreciate this vlog, even though you have some wild, crazy hair. Cheese. I appreciate it. Cheese. Cheese. Did she finish her cheese? Cheese. What? Did she finish her cheese? Yeah. Cheese is cool. For real. She loves cheeses. Bye. Hey. Cheese. <laughs> the hair, though. If you aren't subscribed yet, please subscribe and like, comment and share, fully living. Just like you. Get it and ride on the road with it. It was wow. amazing. Wow, Raphael. For 
Raphael because he's gonna take his training wheels off. You got tassels and everything. This is his birthday gift. Blue! Blue.